Hey guys, welcome back. It's Whirly Move 4. Now today we got a whole bunch of glitches to show you on Blood of the Dead. First we're going to show you the Path of Sorrow glitches, all of them. Then we're going to move on to the DJ5 Ragnarok. And these are all solo. There might be a couple extra glitches out there that I haven't done, but these are solo glitches I'm showing you guys that you can do on Blood of the Dead, just in case you want to do them. Before we start the video, I have two big announcements. One, it would mean a whole lot if you guys could subscribe to me. As we can see right here, there is 89.9% .9 of you guys not subscribed. It would really mean a lot if you guys could hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, you know, come back, watch my vids, because I do post BO4 glitches all the time. Also, guys, one of my friends, Not a Mesher, is starting his channel. He's going to be posting BO4 glitches and art glitches. Definitely go check him out. He's a really awesome guy. I'm going to leave him a link in the description. Go show him some love that would mean a lot to me. With that said and done, let's get right into the video. These are some of my personal favorite perks to have. First, you're going to need the Path of Sorrow. Second, I do suggest you guys bring Wraithfire, one of the best nades you'll ever have. Also, Bandit for the extra ammo you're going to be carrying, just in case you don't get max ammo. You're going to want to have Stronghold to make you stronger, and Mule Kick to have an extra gun that would definitely help you in the long run. Now you want to get your guns as strong as possible, so definitely pack a punch it four times, and then some for whatever perk you want. Personally, Burnout's one of my favorite, or Kilowatt. Uh, don't sleep on Kyle Freeze, it's definitely a good perk as well, but definitely those two are my favorite. So what you guys want to do is get your Path of Sorrows to level 2. Definitely do this as quick as possible because you don't want to be stuck outside any of these glitches beforehand because it then gets overwhelming for everyone. So make sure you definitely cut down all the zombies as quick as possible and get that Path of Sorrows to level 2. Now this is a wall breach glitch, a pretty simple glitch I'd have to say. Uh, it does take a couple of practice runs, so if you want you can definitely go on custom mutations, give yourself a boost and do it beforehand before you actually go into this glitch. But all you have to do is press LT and double tap to cause a little glitch effect near the door. So you want to go to the store near the showers, press LT and then double tap it as fast as possible to break through the wall barrier. Pretty easy simple glitch and it can get you as high rounds so you can pick up drops. Pretty nice glitch I would have to say for myself. Next we have the infirmary glitch, an also easy glitch to get into, all you need to do is come to my location, look where I'm looking, you want to look where that black stuff is where it's chipped off, and you want to press LT, nothing more, it doesn't work, back up, you'll know it works because you'll literally sink, you don't have to look at your feet or anything, I kind of messed up and looked at my feet, you'll literally just sink into the ground, make sure you put away your specialty weapon because you won't be able to fully crouch and you can end up dying if there's a horde of zombies around you, so definitely make sure to put that away, go underground, come to my location, once you go to my location, you kind of want to once you get under like the cell pretty much, you gotta come up, you gotta go into the middle between it because it can make killing zombies a whole bunch easier. I'm telling you, shooting through that glass door kind of, you know, messes it up and doesn't really kill zombies as fast. But this, you can get clean headshots, you can still pick up drops. Just don't back up too far because there is a death barrier and if you stay there too long, you will end up dying. So be wary of that.
this glitch, I would have to say is one of the hardest glitch, but definitely one of the better paying off glitches. So what you're going to want to do is go to the Michigan cells and you're going to want to do the wall breach glitch. It's pretty much pressing LT and spamming uh, the pause button to breach through the wall. So once you guys drop down, you're going to start losing life really fast. So you're going to want to hurry. So you're going to want to run straight, but kind of to the right-ish because you want to jump on top of that rock. But once you've seen that lava end, that little lava uh, trail end, you're going to want to jump because if you don't jump, you're going to fall to your death and it's going to be all for naught. So make sure you jump. Once you've jumped onto that rock, you're going to crouch and you definitely have to hurry because you'll be losing life and you want to make sure you're on top of that. So you want to crouch all the way into your worm formation. It's simple after this because you're past the death barriers pretty much. So what you guys want to do is crawl forwards. Once you've crawled forwards, you're going to get up. You're going to pretty much jump on a ledge. You'll feel it. Jump on the ledge and then jump in this little tiny box area. And then you're in the glitch. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Now, hopefully you guys enjoy that little one. This is one of my favorite glitches right now. Well, on this glitch you want to come to C cells and it's on right next to a lighted up cell so the left cell of that and you're going to do the wall breach method again uh, this glitch I want to say is the best glitch because you can't do have any pickups but you can see all those zombies from like underground so I guess if you like that but uh, personally not one of my favorite glitches but a glitch nonetheless Now we're on to the DJ5 Ragnarok glitches. There's only two that I know of right now. Pretty easy one. Uh, this one is uh, near the mystery box and spawn. All you have to do is look at this pipe. You wanna like be kind of far away from it. Jump and then slam and then none of the zombies will be able to touch you. Pretty easy glitch. Not my favorite though. The next one is, but this is still a pretty good glitch.
passing my favorite DJ Pi Ragnarok glitch by far. Easy, simple, power glitch. So you kind of want to face towards the red pipe and jump, slam, you're in the glitch. Pretty much. Super easy. If it doesn't work, keep trying it. And if you do get hit, keep or try it one more time. It should work after that or how many ever tries you have to keep doing to get it. Uh, definitely one of the best glitches out there. And if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe for more future content, and I'll talk to you guys later.